Hi there, it's Linda, and I'm happy to be back to share a look with you at how March went in my Hobonichi cousin. We're now one quarter in, and look at how chunky this guy's getting. Let's dive right in. here. So I'm still using this to track my hobbies. Sometimes I kind of fall off of doing it and I have to kind of guess and fill them back in, but I do like seeing the trends. I know that journaling and reading are my top hobbies that I do almost every day. A lot of my other practices I don't get to every day. There are some that I don't get, to, haven't gotten to much at all this year. So I know I want to try to prioritize those in April. My goal is to do every single one of my hobbies that's listed here at least once in the month. I have, still don't have a plan for these. I might end up just leaving them blank by the end of the year. Um, I'm, you know, a quarter in and I don't have anything there, but we'll see. Then flipping to the monthlies. So these spreads are so much fun, but these are by far the most time consuming piece of my cousin. Um, I don't work on this every day. Instead, I work on it maybe about once a week but it does take me a long time to find pieces that I like. I spend time flipping through magazines and I cut things out. Some things are from like ads, like this is from a flyer that I get. Um, this is washi tape. I do doodle some like words. In the past month, I have added some stickers. I think like this was a sticker, but I'm doing primarily things cut out of magazines and I'm just trying to get something that kind of encapsulates the day. So like this day, it snowed. This day, I went and got Starbucks. Um, this was Easter. This day, I was like running around all day. This day, I had broccoli and cauliflower with dinner. So it's like kind of representative of the day, but maybe not the biggest thing. Like this day, I was just at home all day. So I have a picture of a cat because my cat's there. But it's really just kind of for fun, and I do enjoy that process. Okay, so moving to my weeklies. My weeklies are continuing to follow the same format. I'm doing a fun washi strip across the top and the bottom, just picking something I like to match like the theme or the feel of the week. So here, you know, we're going into March. So I was like excited for spring. I have this nice, nice floral. I'm adding just highlights or like a recap of what happened that day and use stickers from the Coffee Monster Co. to identify things. And then over here, I'm putting um, highlights from the week. So this, these spreads are primarily for reference when working on my Project Life albums. And I tend to try to update them every day. Sometimes I get, you know, one or two days behind, but never really more than that because otherwise I will forget. But that way, when I'm going back to work on my Project Life, I have all of this stuff available for reference. Here I did a fun little like, highlight and I actually really like that and I think I intended to do that more throughout the week but I didn't so maybe I'll do that in a spread this month. This week I did add a sticker here from Coco Daisy. They have the classic cousin sticker kit so the stickers fit really well in here. I put these ones across the top from there and this one here and this was also from that kit mixing in with some washi from my stash and of course the Coffee Monster Co. I love the idea of bringing those in every so often. I'm not gonna use them every week. What I don't love is that these cover the dates. So if I'm doing that in the future, I'm gonna to have to add the numbers back because it is frustrating to look at this and not know the dates. I have to flip to the week before or week after and kind of count to figure it out. Then this was the first day of spring. So I went with this purple, but I did have this purple like writing here and I don't know I just hated the way it looked I think the marker was too thick for my cursive so I used it again here just to kind of complete the spread but I did just handwriting which was much nicer and then finishing off the month of March I used this fun washi tape from Coffee Monster Co that's like hobbies and I'm obsessed with that washi tape because I'm also obsessed with hobbies and I love seeing all these different hobbies represented a lot of them that are things I do so I enjoyed that. And then I added this sticker again from Coco Daisy from their uh, cousin sticker kit. And this one is a clear one. They have some that are clear like that, like clear washi, and then some that are like paper like this one. And I like the variety for in here. Now moving to my dailies. 
So I started the month out with a monthly vision board, which I've been doing every month so far this year. Absolutely love that practice. I've already put together my April one. I'm filming this on April 1st. So um, I just barely got into the month of April, but I'm loving, loving, loving this as a home for kind of my mood that I'm wanting going into the month. So you can see for the month of March, I really wanted to like cozy, relaxed, focus, coffee. I'm starting to do some spring cleaning, just like a very refreshing month. Here I'm doing more journaling. These, I added in some of the journaling prompts from Claire from online. She sends out journaling, journaling prompts for Not Afraid of Paper. I'm pretty sure it's just her normal newsletter, but whatever it is, I get them in my email. So I decided to do some of them this month. I didn't end up doing that many, but I put the number of the one that I did from the list. So I didn't always correspond to the right date. Here's for my scraps. I kind of fell off of this and didn't finish it, but I still like what I captured for the month. And again, more journaling, adding another prompt, adding, these are like memes and stuff I like to print out. And here's more that I print out. Adding more words using cutout alphas from magazines. I'm super obsessed with that right now. And I like adding like large like reminders to myself. Here I had a totally blank page, so I just added something from a magazine. Moving into starting to see spring, adding some more details, some longer journaling, personal pep talk, filling in the blank space just with additional memes and things that I had printed. Here's the time change. So I put this big clock that I found. Again, adding in another one of those journaling prompts to fill in the blank space when my journaling didn't take up the full day. Here I did a spring bucket list and my plan for this spread is to come back and add like dates uh, underneath each one and maybe a little bit of reflection, but I'm not sure yet. I might end up not even adding anything to it, but I like how it came out so far, but I would like to have some sort of mechanism for like checking things off and trying to stay on top of actually accomplishing the 25 things that I put on my bucket list for the spring. More journaling, adding a sticker. This was just like some product I bought off Amazon for my house and came with a sticker, so I just stuck it in here. More words. This sticker is from Brandy Kincaid. Here, I wrote my journaling in like a more narrow thing because I just haven't been journaling a full page lately to fill an A5 page, so I thought that that was a good way to kind of make it fill the page a bit more, but I don't love that there's this empty column. I think if I was spending more time to fill this up, I would probably put something over here. Sunday reset, definitely a practice I'm trying to bring back. Here I had a complete blank page and I shared this one on my Instagram stories. It's one that I definitely uh, thought was super fun, but I just wanted to do like a random list and this just occurred to me to do a list of all the tabs I have open on my phone in my internet browser. Of course, I have 157 tabs open. I'm one of those people. So I did not write them all, but I just wrote random 11 of them that I thought were fun. Well, actually number 10 is eight tabs of a cat trees. So more than 11, but just a few of the different things that are currently open on my phone. Here, I did some journaling and I was talking about how I was feeling uninspired to do my journal. And so what I did was I just put these little Instagram stickers that are from the Coffee Monster Co. and wrote some of the Instagram accounts that I go to for inspiration for journaling and kind of what I love about those accounts. So yeah, if you're interested, check those out. Here, I got some new washi, but then I, and an, so it was an order from the Coffee Monster Co. So I put the little sticker here and then I was just so busy. I didn't add anything in here at all. Yes, I probably will come back and fill these in, but I'm filming this on April 1st. As we get closer to the end of the month, you're going to see blank pages because I don't, I try to do a page per day, but I don't always. You can see here, I skipped like three days in a row besides just putting this. Maybe I'll never fill them in. Maybe I will. It's okay either way. Here, I use this washi tape from Everyday Explorers as a jumping off point for different journaling prompts. And then I had a power outage starting this day that lasted for 24 hours. So I documented that story here because on Saturday I was doing all of these prompts 
And I did kind of mention the blackout a little bit, but I had more journaling I wanted to do about it. So I made this title just by cutting these letter shapes out of patterns in a magazine. And I love how it turned out. I probably will do that again rather than, I mean, I still love like this idea of cutting out the letters in a magazine, but this was a fun like twist on that. And I was able to get them like bigger and adding in some washi tape. And then here, more journaling and a sticker from the Coffee Monster Co. I tend to hoard these big stickers, so I'm trying not to and trying to put them in my, my journal. Not much else, just like random journaling pieces for magazines, something printed out, making a note about Girl Scout cookies. This spread is inspired by Natasha in your phone. And so she just did a fun like currently spread. So I made a list similar to hers. And then I intended to fill all this in with journaling, but I didn't finish that day. I got busy. Here is, it was another blank page. I just added a like inspirational message from a magazine. And then this was Saturday's journaling and then Sunday's journaling rather than putting it over here. My intention was to do a quarter one recap here and I might still do that, but I have not done it at the time I'm filming this video on April 1st and I didn't want to Put the pressure on myself to like get it done before I wanted to film this video. So maybe I will finish that. Maybe I'll go back and fill in some of these blank pages during the month of April if I'm super in like busy in my journal. And sometimes I get inspiration. I just want to like make a random list, make a map, random whatever. So I will look back to the most recent blank page and fill it in there. So depending on how much time I have and how much inspiration I have to add to here I might fill these in or they might stay blank but you will see that when I share a full flip, flip through at the end of the year so at the end of the first quarter so about a quarter of the way through with this it's already getting pretty chunky um, I'm a little nervous with how chunky this is going to be at the end of the year because I'm definitely sticking more stuff in here than I was in last year's but we'll see Thank you guys so much for being here. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.